Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. I'm going to do your week ahead reading to see what the messages are playing out for you. Hope you guys are well. Do smash that like and subscribe button if you would like to get a personal reading. The link in the description box below this video uh, will take you right to my website. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I always have cards flipping out. Okay, you've got lightning coffee cup. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So do keep that in mind. And you have, wow, not enough. Okay. There's a conversation that I feel like is going to occur this week with someone over coffee. Someone's going to reach out and tell you a truth about how they feel. Um, and basically that feeling is they don't feel like they're good enough for you or they were intimidated by you or they're not sure if you're interested in them. This is like going to be a shock for you, Virgo. I don't feel like you're going to expect this. Um, I, I don't know if you like I feel like you'll it's just the words that come out like this person. Um, telling you they feel like tremendously frustrated they were lacking confidence they don't have a lot of confidence when it comes to you I don't know that this person doesn't have confidence but um, it just gives me a sense some of you might be getting a coffee cup or tea leaf reading as well and find that out I just heard but um, yeah this is this is like wow is this is kind of like what really um, this will be a surprise for you hearing this from somebody and we'll get into it and see who this is but I feel like there's someone here who's super super intimidated by you and they don't feel like they are they can I guess I want to say meet you at your level like you're so amazing it's like that okay they don't feel good enough okay um now they may be intimidated by you they might also feel like um no, it just kind of feels like a shocker, but I'm also hearing they might also feel like you, um, okay, I'm just going to say this. They're telling me you might be a little harsh with your words or you just have this extreme clarity and somebody could be intimidated by that as well. You know, like some people don't want to know the truth, Virgo, <laughs> believe it or not. Virgos want to know the truth, but some people want, they prefer the lies. They prefer to be lied to. They don't want to know the truth, right? So you've got intimacy. There's definitely a sexual chemistry and maybe some reminiscing happening here this week with someone. Let's see what else. I guess I could shuffle over here so the cards don't fly off the table. All right, let's see. Two more cards. One more card for Virgo. Okay, that's that. Okay, communicate. Definitely going to be some communication this week. A compromise, forgiving, and working something out with someone. And, oh wow, you've got sexuality. Someone is still figuring themselves out too. Okay, that definitely could be playing out this week as well. Someone's figuring out maybe their sexual orientation or just, just kind of sorting things out with themselves as well. That could be related to this or it could be completely separate. Okay, so I just hear my grandson. Sorry for the loud noises. Let me just see what messages of love are before I get into the tarot. What else does Virgo need to know about a can? Oh, look, strictly sexual. Wow. Virgo, this feels like someone is very physically attracted to you. Um, they can't get past that part of that that part of it the, this person is like if you're like why isn't someone approaching me or why isn't someone specific talking to me it's because they don't they don't want you to see the drool that drips down their chin when they're talking to you or when they see you okay i'm trying to make this a little bit brighter you guys hold on a second like someone i just feel like they can't really address any kind of relationship because when they look at you they it's almost like a teenager it's almost like a teenager kind of thing like the crush is so enormous that someone feels extremely awkward they can't get past that and and if they do have a sexual relationship with you only it's overwhelming this person feels extremely overwhelmed by you okay one more for Virgo. 
This is crazy. Integrity. Does this situation align with your values and morals, Virgo? Okay. Hmm. Well, this kind of feels like someone who is a bit insecure and it feels like someone who can't get past the physical um, to try to develop a deep relationship. Maybe they struggle with their sexuality. I feel like it's going to be, it's definitely related to some type of intimacy. And I do feel like this person, like they're going to tell you about it. So what does that mean? Does that mean that this is something deeper? I mean, I... I, it doesn't look like th like the question is being asked. Is this situation, is it going to work for you? That's really like, I don't feel very positive about that. I kind of feel like this, where's my tarot deck? I kind of feel like this situation is a little awkward. I feel like um can't even get past like first base. What the heck? What the heck is going on? Can't even get past first base to even talk or have the conversation you guys okay well let's see if if something can change here i mean there is lightning there is some kind of transformation i feel like somebody wants to try to get over something here that they're dealing with three of pentacles three of wands so 33 you might be seeing the, the threes a lot lately this person has really huge grand ideas about trying to build something with you but they're kind of like up in the air because of this sexual thing like i don't even know if this person's capable to approach you they're gonna tell you though so if you feel like why isn't why isn't this person like asking me out or making a move it's because they're like they must have something what is going on with this person all right ten of wands Physical exhaustion. Hmm. Four of cups. I feel like this person, um, okay. So right now they're just saying this, whoever they are, okay. And I'm, I'm going to actually, let me just roll and see if we can get some kind of idea who this person is. All right. We have Aquarius. Leo. Taurus. La, 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 la. Pisces. Okay. So far, so good. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. This person's avoiding you. They've been avoiding you. Yes. We know that already, Spirit. We know that because there's this powerful physical attraction to you. And they can't seem to, like, they're, they lose their, their grip or they're fearful of losing their grip coming near you making a fool out of themselves so i would say they must have some kind of control issue going on that they have to like have everything under control okay because yeah um so they actually this person seems like a bit of a breadcrumber and but like behind it is because they're i just feel like this person's very insecure behind it behind the reason why they're breadcrumbing is they're very insecure they're just really like they really want to have something with you but they're not even committing to anybody else they're actually trying to avoid everything altogether okay wow so yeah what are you going to find out this person like this week and is going to tell you you know i just you know, they haven't asked you out because they didn't feel like you would be interested or that you were good enough or that they were good enough for you um, or that they haven't made a move, or that there's no physical, like anything. They sabotage the relationship. They they will tell you. They get very easily frustrated in a relationship or in this relationship. I feel like this person is going to tell you, this is what's going on, and this is like all the reason why, okay? Um, why they've been, like why they're breadcrumbing, um, they have plans and ideas and things that they would like to have with you. But yeah, it's just kind of like they're confused. I feel like they're very confused. Let's take a look at you, Virgo. So they are. So th the overall message here for this week is there's going to be an admittance. Someone's, there's going to be a conversation. You're going to get some type of communication from someone, from whoever your person is or this new person. And or someone that you've maybe been dating and they're going to tell you the truth. They're going to come right out with it and tell you the truth. Like if they could get over whatever their issues are, 
um, like this person's a little obsessed. Okay, they're they're a bit they they are obsessed. They become obsessed. Whatever the situation is, this person absolutely, yeah, and they're trying to maintain their sense of cool <laughs> about it. So, yeah, it, it's Capricorn energy there. Yeah, so there's that going on. Okay, let's take a look at you. You all right? So you're good. You're like, okay, if you communicate with me, great. Um, if you don't, great. You're peaceful. You're in a good. You're in a good place. It's like, what are you gonna do, right, Virgo? There you are. You're focusing on work, career, your money, doing whatever you're doing. It's kind of like, Virgo. You've been hurt before, and it looks like you are just not chasing anything or anyone. If somebody wants to bring clarity, then let them bring clarity. If they don't want to bring clarity, then so be it. It is what it is. And I kind of feel like that's your energy. Um, you're going to get some type of spiritual download or a message, intuitive message. You'll get some clarity when you're in your, in your dreams. You might be having a lot of dreams lately. If you are and you've been remembering them, there's been some messages in there for you but also when you're at peace when you're rested um, things will start coming to you about some type of betrayal i'm also hearing or something that may have ended um, could be with a king of cups cancer scorpio pisces um, things are going to actually start coming to you and uh, it could that could be the person you're dealing with here or not we did have pisces here let me see what else is going on with you Okay, so you're indul indulging yourself, a Virgo, but you are kind of stepping back. You have your boundaries up. You're being really persistent. You're not letting one hand know what the other hand is doing. That's what I feel like is going on. But you're being very happy, um, progressing in your relationships or just in your life in general. I kind of feel like you're in a good place. I don't feel like... You're, you're seeking answers right now as far as like physically, like in, in your life, reaching out to people um, or a particular person trying to find out something or get some information. I feel like if it's more like, I mean, you might be listening to tarot card readings or getting readings, but that's a little bit different. You're not approaching um, anyone specific here to get answers is what I feel like is going on and I also feel like because of that that is going to bring some truths and some clarity okay so you've got there's definitely going to be a reunion three of cups Def, definitely this week getting together let's see you've got the seven of wands and the strength card hmm, looks like you might be really pushing back on some kind of reunion this week or connecting with friends or family yeah just when i said that the four of wands came out so hmm avoiding are you avoiding going uh, some of you are avoiding going home some of you are avoiding some type of relationship or having some kind of reunion with someone it could be with a leo um, being very guarded and defensive. Yeah, there is a really strong... Some of you are actually getting yourselves in shape for the holidays, I also heard, um, for some kind of get-together or seeing people or lovers or whomever or a lover getting yourself in physically good shape, getting stronger, doing something along that those lines doing some resistance training maybe trying to get yourself maybe just in general better for the holidays or better when for social events okay um oh okay so some of you are also working on creating something or you're building or working on some crafts or gifts or um, you're making something in maybe this week to send out through the mail or to send to someone, FedEx, Amazon, whatever your postal, however you send things. I feel like you're creating something, you're making something. Um, maybe you're just doing Christmas cards. I don't even think people do Christmas cards anymore, but if they do, um, maybe you're one of them and you're working on doing that this week. 
getting them out early or making some gifts or crafts or doing some kind of business for something to sell um, that people order and you ship out to them. This week's going to be a busy week for that. So if you're trying to make some money, get going because this is, yeah, you're going to be able to manifest that. That's great. So whatever you're working on, anything that you're going to be sending out, whatever you're building, creating, writing, drawing, using your hands, whatever it is that you do or th are thinking of doing, this week is the week to do it, okay? Um, if you're trying to make money at something, this is the week to do it. It will, it, you'll do well because you'll have, if you're trying to have that for Christmas or you're just maybe giving gifts or whatever and trying to create that Christmas magic or that holiday magic, I definitely feel like this is the week. So let's take a look and see what the Christmas messages will be. For this week for Virgos, Christmas messages for Virgo. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, that's totally fine. You can still get these messages anyway. Just would be for the time period of December. All right, let's see. Christmas messages for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? Oh. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Page of Wands, Knight of Wands, all right, Queen of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles, wow, so I feel like this is a fire sign, You're, there's a fire sign connection, there's going to be some communication, um, you may have already dealt with this person, there may have been a physical connection between the two of you, um, I feel like if you dealt with this person before, there's definitely going to be a reach out about getting together um, over the holidays. If you haven't, this is somebody new who's got a thing for you. And you may just be like, no, I'm sorry, this person, <laughs> they've been, I feel like this person knows you. Okay. They know of you or they know you. I don't feel like it's this person. This feels like somebody else. It could be the same person, but there's a weighing of options here. What is this person weighing about reaching out to you or messaging you this week? Let me see. Asking you out or asking to get together. I'm trying to keep my light on, but unfortunately, I put my screensaver on my computer here and I can't get it to stay. Sorry about that. I guess I should set myself up before I do my readings, right? Give me one second so I can just fix that. Gosh, gosh, gosh. Oh, I don't even know how to fix it. Crazy. Crazy. I don't know how to set the time on this stupid thing. Oh, well, I'll just have to keep doing it the way I'm doing. <laughs> I'll just keep hitting the button. Anyway, let me see here. I forget what I was asking, but let's move on anyway. All right. You've also got a Queen of Swords showing up, Libra, Gemini, Cancer. They're offering some kind of... Um, Opportunity to you could have to do with money or new job opportunity. You'll be hearing from an air sign about this. Um, you'll be able to quit working or quit doing uh, work at the place you're employed to come and work for them. You're getting a job opportunity being offered to you this week. Um, it could have something to do with something that you've been waiting for or they've been waiting for the right time to, to, to make this offer to you. All right, so if you got some stuff lined up, are you going to be, are you looking for a new work, maybe in the new year after the holidays are over? I do feel like um, some of you could be working like in a morgue or maybe in a hospital or something along those lines. Let me see here. What else does Virgo need to know? What else is coming towards Virgo this week? Okay. Hmm. Some of you are definitely going to be shoveling some snow, Virgo. 
<laughs> and I know some of you are getting like some real serious um, snowstorms right now. And I hope you guys are like totally safe and you're not, you know, breaking your back. Um, some of you might even be doing um, some snow um shoveling or something as a job or you're going around and maybe you work for a company that does that i definitely see like there's a lot of work this week and a lot of opportunity for money to be made so hold on you guys i was trying to find the time to see if i could find it again but I don't know what happened to it. You know how like when you set your screensaver, it lets you choose how long you want it to run for? All right, what else do you have going on? Whoa, look at that. There's like a lantern on here. And some sheep. This is a shepherd. Look at that. I love this deck. Okay. So what's happening here? Um, yeah, you guys, I, I'm just seeing like a lot of snow at night, a lot of shoveling. Uh, maybe you're going to hire someone to, to do some shoveling. Now, listen, if you live in a desert, I'm not talking to you. This is for those of you who have like a lot of snowy areas. I'm seeing um, some of you nine to ten inches of snow. So I don't know where you're listening. Um Some of you might be doing this yourself as well. Just like maybe you have like some farm animals. You're doing something. Like it's a lot of hard work. It I just see like a lot of hard work. Oh, yeah, before Christmas, there's a chariot. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> well, Santa's definitely coming to your house, Virgo. That's for sure. <laughs> some of you are getting a new car. You're cleaning out that driveway, shoveling the snow to get that new vehicle, perhaps. Are you getting a gift of a new vehicle from someone? <clears throat> or just a gift of a vehicle? It doesn't have to be new. But yeah, there's definitely... Let me see what else. There's some holiday special. You know, I was talking about that the other day. I was talking about um, is it finding or buying a car, I think, on Thursday and finding a really great deal. I feel like that's still happening for some of you. All right, what else? Oh, look at all this. These wands with all like blizzard. Blizzard. Look, I'm picking up real strong snowplow energy here as well. I'm serious. Some of you might even be like, you know what? I'm just going to go buy a truck and put a plow on it and just go make my money and just drive around town and, and plow snow. And that's what I'm going to do. Maybe you do that for a living. I'm picking that up real strong with like pushing around in all the snow, taking a break, like a blizzard conditions, and the chariot is a vehicle. So some of you might even, they're just saying, meet someone who's plowing <laughs> snow up, get you off the side of the road, and, and there's like a little bit of a something, something happens there. Okay. Okay. That's fun. What else is going on? Oh, see? That's what I just said. That is what I just said. Some of you are going to meet someone <laughs> who helps you out in a, in a weather-related event. And it's like love at first sight. <laughs> I mean, okay. You know what? Love happens when it happens, right? So for some of you, that's the situation. There you go. So if you see someone stranded on the side of the road, Virgo... <laughs> Um, well, carefully, you know, maybe call some help for them before you go to the car. But, you know, yeah, you got to weigh the situation out as you approach. But, um, oh, yeah, there's definitely a connection that's going to be made. You know what's so funny? Um, there's mistletoe up here, not um, the caduceus. So I'm also picking up two people who live on different... Um, How can I say this? You've got two people who live at a distance to each other. They live on different countries, and there's uh, a body of water between them. There's a coming together, standing under the mistletoe, that's for sure. So Christmassy, I love it. Yes. Okay. 
So you do have the seven of wands again. Okay. Uh, Virgo, you are definitely putting up some dukes during this time. You are not like, I, I mean, I, I just feel like you're very much on guard with your emotions and your feelings and when it comes to love you're i, I don't know what why i'm not sure because you know the holidays is such a magical time but let's see if i can ask why virgo is on guard like look on guard yep ace of cups if you haven't seen this deck yet i just have to show you the ace of cups has hot chocolate and marshmallows coming out of it okay so yeah, some of you are on guard, you're defenseless, you're protecting yourselves. And you know what? Maybe you should. Okay, when new love comes in, um, possibly because you were hurt before, you were burned before, and you don't want to get hurt again. But you are a little bit, yeah, look at the tower. Yeah. Some of you, I feel like, are not going to expect... Like even from the beginning, someone coming in here and admitting something or just having a new love start with someone out of the blue, like kind of shocking. Like I said, somebody, there, there's a shocking. It, so basically the overall too is that love is coming in and it's going to come in in a shocking, weird, strange way. Somebody's going to admit something that's going to blow your mind that you never would have believed. And there's also a chance meeting with someone who is just out of the blue, this week okay it's all this week and it's not everything for one person all of you will have little bits of things that will occur um to each of you okay let's see and there's the king of cups is showing up again so you've got the king of cups there is um water earth and air showing up here so there is involvement with water earth and air as a court card okay which is more potent than me just calling out signs randomly so this whole like the connection that you have with one two or three different people involves water earth and air earth could just be you and you have a connection with water and air okay um now you have the queen of cups here there is a match you do there is a match here the king of cups and the queen of cups go together okay so I feel like that's you and another person. I feel like if you are making a decision about someone, it looks like the best match is with the water sign. Yes. And there's your three of pentacles again. That's the commitment. Even though there's like four people on there. That's the commitment. There's a commitment happening or occurring between you and a water sign okay um i'm gonna just leave that there because i feel like there's a lot of different messages playing out and um i kind of just went by the seat of my pants today because i forgot my deck and then i remembered i had the christmas deck that i wanted to start using which we're going to start using but i just completely like it slipped my mind so I'm going to leave that for you guys. I know it was short. Well, was it? No, it was like 30 minutes. I hope that um, you get something out of this. Again, if you want to get a personal reading with me, there is a link in the description box below. I am back now to do the daily readings. So do come back every night, 10, 25 p.m. Eastern, when we go live. And yeah, you get your reading. All right, you guys. So thank you for being here. I'll see you all back here tomorrow. All right, take care. Bye.